From Reinhardt College in Waleska, Georgia, this is Renewing American Civilization. In this, the fourth of ten class presentations, Congressman Newt Gingrich, an adjunct professor at Reinhardt College, will continue his course, which presents the foundational principles necessary to the renewal of American civilization. This week's lesson, Pillar 3, Entrepreneurial Free Enterprise, focuses on entrepreneurial free enterprise as the great producer of wealth, solutions to problems, and developer of opportunities. Welcome, and let me uh, begin by welcoming the students of Mind Extension University, which is in, uh, I think, some 26 million homes around the country. Let me remind everyone who is watching that you can mail your comments to Renewing American Civilization, P.O. Box 6008, Marietta, Georgia, 30065. You can also fax your comments to 404-528-9806, uh, or you can email your comments to America Online. Uh, at uh, renew at aol.com or you can get class transcripts and other class materials available on our internet web page which is too silly for me to repeat that's not English so I, I refuse to say it but anybody can write it down I should say by the way I think uh, John was telling us last night John McDowell that I believe there have been like 460 transcripts downloaded from, Ameri from uh, internet and there have been another I think 100 from CompuServe and another 100 from, from America Online so uh, people out there are getting it. I was at the Library of Congress yesterday looking at the National Digital Library and uh, it is uh, <clears throat> amazing what we're about to be able to do and we're seeing it in terms of reaction to the course and people who are accessing us electronically. Finally, uh, for more traditional folks, uh, you can order American Civilization newspaper, video and audio tapes and the course readings by calling 1-800-2-RENEW and the fact is for about 90% of the country that's still the most practical answer. Uh, just pick up the phone, call the 800 number and don't worry about it. But it is interesting to see the expansion of, of uh, what's happening. Uh, in this course, our suggestion is that there is an American civilization that has five pillars. That the five pillars are the historic lessons of American civilization, personal strength, entrepreneurial free enterprise, the spirit of invention and discovery, and quality as defined by Edwards Deming. And what we're going to do is take two hours as, on each of these five pillars and then we're going to touch, talk about four areas and we're going to apply the five pillars to four different areas. First, to the third wave in American civilization. What will the information age mean for America? Second, to creating American jobs in the world market. Third, to replacing the culture of violence and poverty with a culture of productivity and safety. And fourth, citizenship and community in 21st century America. On all of these, today's topic will be uh, the pillar entrepreneurial free enterprise and looking at why is entrepreneurial free enterprise so important. And that's where I want to start because I want to explain just for a minute what, what we mean by that. We have to first examine in America why is entrepreneurial free enterprise important. I think this is a very key question to, to what we're trying to, to get at. Let me say first of all, when I use the word entrepreneur from the French to undertake, I don't just mean making money. We, well, the first time I taught the course, I used a section out of, of uh, a book uh, on uh, dinosaurs called uh, T-Rex uh, by one of the leading uh, current dinosaur collectors. And, and in the book, he talked about the fact that they'd found a Tyrannosaurus Rex that didn't have the money to get it out of the ground. And he explains all the different things they did to get the Corps of Engineers to loan them a bulldozer, get a company to loan them a big truck, get volunteers to go out. He undertook, in the, in the meaning of the word entrepreneur, he undertook to solve his problem. If you look at the, the, uh, the great uh, teachers in the country, if you, if you look at, at, at uh, uh, Jaime Escalante in California who, who teaches Hispanic kids so that they go to MIT and to Caltech on a regular basis because he makes calculus come alive uh, in the barrio, uh, he is an under, he's an entrepreneur. He's an entrepreneur of learning. And he does what it takes to get it done. So entrepreneurship doesn't mean just getting rich. It means a psychological attitude that says, I will undertake something and in that process, I will make sure it happens and I will learn what I have to learn to get this done. That is, it is a project-centered learning. If I can for one second, this is one of the most important things to learn about the difference between the dead end we've gotten to in credentialing 
and how America works when it's healthy. In credentialing, we say to you, learn what is in this box. You will get five hours credit. And then learn what is in this box. You'll get five hours credit. And when you learn enough boxes, and then you'll have a PhD. What entrepreneurs do is they say, I'm here now. <clears throat> I want to get here. Everything I have to learn in order to get there, I will learn. And it is the project which drives the learning. If I have to learn psychology in order to convince the banker to give me the loan, I'll learn, I'll learn psychology. If I have to learn management skills in order to be able to take care of a particular project, I'll learn management. If I have to learn accounting to be able to take care of the cash flow, I'll learn accounting. You tell me what the project requires, let me break it down into a series of learning sequences and I'll learn them. And my payoff is in the real world, not am I credentialed, but am I accomplishing something? And if I'm not, let me go back and start again and figure out, now what is it I missed? So it's a learning-driven system, but the learning is defined by what we're trying to accomplish. And that is a very, very different approach. When you liberate human beings to be entrepreneurial, that is, you break down the bureaucratic habits and the sloth that says, you sit it there until I give you red tape and I tell you the regulations, and I'll define for you what it is. There's a great funny story Sonny Bono told the other night. Uh, it's a true story. Bono had retired from, from the entertainment business, had gone to Palm Springs, had bought a restaurant. He wanted to put up a sign. He goes into the city hall. He says, I want to put a sign up in my restaurant. The bureaucrat in city hall says, you're in Palm Springs. He says, I bought a restaurant. I want people to know it's Bono's restaurant. He says, you don't make the rules. We make the rules. Fill out all these forms. He fills out the forms. He comes back. The bureaucrat says, it will be a while before we decide whether or not you can have a sign. Bono comes back again. He's, he said, I, I bought the restaurant. I'm making monthly payments. I can't get people to come to my restaurant because they don't know it's Bono's restaurant. I need a sign. Finally, one day, he said, he walked in. He said, I found a solution. And the bureaucrat looked at him and said, it's not your job to find solutions. <laughs> we find solutions. Bono said, I'm running for mayor and I'm going to fire you. <laughs> And the other night at the Washington uh, Journalism <laughs> Foundation uh, uh, dinner, Bono looked out and he said, but I'm a compassionate man. He's my gardener now. <laughs> <laughs>